Right, this is a super quick, super quick video on um, OBD2 connection to uh, vehicles. If you want to look at what's going on, read the bolt codes and get information. There's some great software out there for not much money. Uh, I've just diagnosed the faulty um, component on the Scenic. But I just wanted to show you something quickly on the transit. It's easy to um, easy to show you. So have a look at this. We've got um, just an Android tablet, really cheap. I mean, I bought that years ago, and I've got uh, two dongles. This one is a cheap. Oh, I don't know. How, uh, I'm gonna say probably 15, 15 euros, something like that. And this one is a really expensive, well not really, more expensive, it's about £100 uh, imported from the States just to make sure I've got a proper genuine uh, MX. And I want to show you what happens if you use the cheap one versus the uh, original. So, uh, just start up with your app, uh, OBD2 app, and we'll try... Um, connect to this one into the diagnostics port the transit um, so I selected the transit all the correct settings are in there already so let's stick this in there ignition on so what we want to do is click connect and look at this bottom piece here this is connecting to the dongle connected now what we're trying to do is talk to the ecu and we want as many of the options as we can so obd2 eobd and can and some extra pins as well but that's it it's as far as the cheap one will go you won't get any further than that now there is there are some android software programs that may read this and i've got an, uh, an app on the phone which does the same thing but it, it just gives you very basic stuff so i would disconnect from that um, and then what we're going to do is just unplug the cheap one plug in Plug in our new one and then select our new MX and do exactly the same thing. Let's click on connect. Uh, we can see that it's trying to connect to <clears throat> our device, it's connected. And then hopefully, yeah, connected. And then we can see all our details uh, and then we can read our fault codes there we go so there we are just actually chucking it down now just a quick video to say that um, you really need a good quality interface between you and the vehicle otherwise it's just not going to work it doesn't matter what your software is like so try and get an original a chinese one or one from ebay probably won't do the job it's got to be an original mx originally i bought that for the bmw the gs uh, you need that to reset the um service light on that which we'll get to when we prepare their gs for summer but there uh, just a quick quick video on um, the importance of getting a original proper interface thanks for watching